Yo, what is up guys, JD0 bringing you some um, Pokemon Wi-Fi battles from Pokemon Sword. Uh, this is the first time I'm testing the Elgato capture card. As you can pretty much see, you know, I'm going to be testing to do a Wi-Fi battle for you guys. Um, I don't know how I feel about this yet. Uh, we're gonna just test it, just to be testing it. Um, so if he lives, we lose. Whatever, whatever. It is what it is, right? Um, I wish it was one of those things where we could like just. Don't get me wrong. I had no issues with the. Uh, battle spot but it's still kind of cool to battle random people but again I'm just using whatever whatever um, I do have a team that I'm going to be using it's not the official official team depending on what happens basically but we got Tokakiss, the flinch god. We have painkiller, to toxicity. We also have two toxicities. And um, we got our Kumamo. I haven't necessarily know what I'm going to be doing with this one. Uh, we also got Godzilla. We also got low, uh, low key pain. And then we have our Falker, a Fal, Fal, Falker, Fal, Fal. Her foul, um, Falker, Fal. It's it's always hard to pronounce the that name. Some people could pronounce it correctly. I can't pronounce it right. So, uh, but it has to do with an old movie, so that's why I have that name. Um, but yeah, I have this team here. This is not the best team yet I don't know yet I still haven't like really battled anybody in the Wi-Fi battle scene I'm gonna try to get a battle and see how well I do but I'm pretty sure anything will be going with when it comes to Wi-Fi battles I don't know about legendary Pokemon. I I think I kind of tested a legendary po. No, I actually had like a previous Wi-Fi battle. Let me correct myself. I had a previous Wi-Fi battle. Did not like that Wi-Fi battle at all. Now the reason why I didn't like the Wi-Fi battle is because it was a um. What 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 was it? It was because the the legendary Pokemon that they had just generally outspeeds naturally so that's why I didn't like it it's one of those things where oh here we go we get a legendary Pokemon this Pokemon just directly outspeeds no matter what so if you have a choice scarf it outspeeds the choice scarf don't like that don't like that at all um, so knowing the fact that I have a Pokemon that has choice scarf I won't be able to outspeed a legendary Pokemon without choice scarf and that's the Zamazenta or Zamient or whatever you call it but yeah that's the type of Pokemon we're dealing with when it comes to dealing with set Pokemon it just has a natural speed so if you go in this the way we're going with into it it's just gonna outspeed no matter what it's just generally gonna outspeed so what we could do is try our best even though we're gonna get outspeed by a legendary Pokemon that's just the non fact we're just gonna get outspeed by a legendary Pokemon I wouldn't be surprised if 
this opponent would just switch into the Pokemon just for kicks because it's going to outspeed no matter what. I mean, that's the whole thing. I'm just waiting for my opponent to switch into its legendary Pokemon so it would just guarantee an outspeed and I got to deal with nonsense from that outspeeding legendary Pokemon because this Pokemon could pretty much automatically take out any Pokemon I have because it just outspeeds. Okay, so I don't know what this opponent is trying to do. It knows it could take out it could take out any of my Pokemon. Well does this trainer know that it could take well does this person know it could take out any of my Pokemon? Because uh, all I'm doing is going to just go for the air slash and potentially flinch. That's that's all I could do is go for air slash and potentially flinch. This is my star Pokemon. So, if anything, it could just go ahead and decide to switch into its own star Pokemon. And that would be the legendary Pokemon that I know would outspeed my Togekiss and then just slaughter my Togekiss. I avoid it. Wow. 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 Togekiss, what the heck? You don't just do that. You don't miss Togekiss. You don't. You really don't. You're pitting yourself in a bad position. Togekiss, you're pitting yourself in a bad position. Um, but yeah, I wanted to test out my new Elgato capture card and again, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, I liking this new Elgato capture card. I'm, I'm glad I bought this so I could give you guys content like this and a good quality content as well. Um, but here we are with the, again, Zemazenta. I'm pretty sure it could just automatically outspeed no matter what we do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Gigantamax just for the hell of it because, you know, again, it's nothing we could do. It's literally nothing we could do. I could Gigantamax, but there's literally nothing we could do about this. It's going to outspeed. And there's nothing I could do about that. I could have stayed. Probably. Oh. I was able to outspeed. Nice. But. I mean. Again. All I could do is pretty much. Hope for the best. But that's hoping for the best. Basically. And this is. No. Because none of the moves are prior. Has any priority. It just. It literally outspeeds. When I had that Pokemon. In that form because the last match I don't know that unless this person was someone did something to his Pokemon or whatever but I didn't like that last match that I had that's all I can say I just didn't like the last match I had a Pokemon like that shouldn't be out speeding but again it's a legendary Pokemon so I guess a kid all right here we go I could get a boost Hopefully this Pokemon does not kill me. But I'm going to get a boost. It seems it does not outspeed me, apparently. But I'm even getting this boost. Nice and nice and decently good amount of boost. This goes for the Moonblast. I keep forgetting this Pokemon is a fairy type. That was dumb of me. That was dumb of me. That was the only Pokemon that could generally do any damage to this Pokemon. Great. Awesome. Well, that's not the only Pokemon that could do damage to this Pokemon. Uh, I guess I could go into Falcor. 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 I can't really get that name. I swear to you guys, I just can't. Can't proceed that name through. All right. So here we are again. We're gonna Dragon Dance. I guess I only could get a one boost. 
hopefully that one boost will help me turn the tables on this he goes for the withdraw that's fine he goes with the Rengaguru or whatever you call it I'm gonna get the boost I wanna have to go for a straight attack cause there's nothing I can really do with that I'm gonna have to go for a straight up attack and see if I could get this Pokemon on ice or take it out with a nice fang frozen yes let's go all right we got it frozen we got a frozen we we got frozen oh my gosh thank you i did not he disconnected the communication with the other trainer has was was interrupted what the heck guys we we actually won that match bro like for real that that was insane that was insane we actually won that match oh my god so again like i said i had a match not too long ago i did record that match but when i recorded that match the echo was i was echoing i guess my audio was had an echo or something like that hopefully this time there's no echo um but Again, like I said, his his Pokemon was just outspeeding my uh, Choice Scarf, and it wasn't even Choice Scarf. It 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 chose other moves. It was able to outspeed all my other Pokemon. This guy who had the same Pokemon did not outspeed. So I don't know. I honestly don't know. I really don't know, guys. It's it's weird. I still feel like maybe Legendary Pokemon should not be in this game I mean not be in this game but when I request battles I'm just like I'm hoping there's no legendary Pokemon but I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, guys I hope you enjoyed the battle I can't believe the guy forfeit he, he literally just DC'd he didn't he didn't quit the match he didn't he didn't forfeit the match he just like DC and just disconnected his his freaking battle that's freaking insane and that's how you know it was disconnected because i'm still connected to the online server i could just do that and you can still see the like light up on here saying i'm connected to the server still so of course he disconnected so again thank you guys for watching uh i will be start requesting wi-fi battles soon i don't know when but once I start posting on to, I guess, what you call it, Amino, even though I know a lot of people are kind of mad at me about Amino and there's a lot of drama going on at Amino, but it is the only place to really, you know, get to communicate with other people who like the same things as you do and be able to battle with you and battle against you on it i mean i could do the same thing on what what other platforms i could do this on and request battles i could do it on discord i could do it on i could do it on facebook um i mean those are like the only places i know i could do it other than doing it from off of the amino areas or well, I mean I guess I could choose the right particular amino communities to do it on request battles on there without having to do deal with issues but again I'm just like prolonging this freaking video I'm sorry but again thank you guys for enjoying this video I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, new uh, setup I have on here um yeah i'm still working on what else to put on this layout so far this is the only thing i have on this layout but again it is what it is uh i keep rambling on again um but yeah bye guys <laughs>